Aviation stakeholders have asked the federal government to support the growth of uh, privately owned airlines as it floats another national carrier. They also want the government to be wary of repeating the mistakes uh, that contributed to the failure of the first national airline. Lilian Izimak has details. Nigeria Airways, the national and flag carrier of the most populous country in Africa. A symbol of national unity, it dominated the Nigerian herb and evoked pride in Nigerians around the globe as it displayed the uniqueness of the country. It was in every Nigerian's delight to be on that airline. And uh, it served the country. Uh, it should have been the number one airline in the continent, followed by Ethiopian Airlines. It was a beautiful airline. But former President Olushe Gumabasanja liquidated the airline over mismanagement in 2004. Fourteen years down the line, Nigeria has not been able to find a replacement, not even with the liberalization of the aviation sector. Nigeria has made several attempts at floating a national carrier. These include partnership with Virgin Atlantic and Nigeria, among others. Virgin Atlantic only trying to make Virgin Nigeria a feeder carrier. So the concept of the, for Virgin Nigeria to feed into the traffic of Virgin Atlantic out of Lagos. So they kind of made them a regional carrier. There were issues about the lease rentals of the aircraft. There were issues about the uh, uh, remunerations of the foreign expert staff. But Minister of State Aviation Hadi Sirika is optimistic that the proposed national carrier will become a reality as the name and logo have been launched in the United Kingdom. Six months to the December 24 takeoff date for the proposed national carrier, industry operators are skeptical the federal government would meet the deadline as the government has yet to reveal other important details such as where the airline will be located but the regulators think otherwise. It will in terms of you employing pilots, aeronautical engineers, also mechanical engineers, all professionals that have something to do with air, aircraft business. That one has not been done. And you are, you are telling people that by December, is it magic? It's a five-phase process. First phase, you express interest. It has been done already. Second phase, documentation. Third phase, we will now get to the level where we will now look at the feasibility studies, we will now be looking at the insurance, we will now be looking at the aircraft, we will now be looking at personnel, and move to the phase of the flight demo. Once this is done, you have your certificate, and it can be done within 90 days as is in the law. President Aviation Roundtable has asked the government to provide a level playing field for the involvement of local airlines to ensure that Nigeria has more than one national carrier. We're looking forward to balancing the trade. We can't do it overnight. Yeah? So if one airline is got born in December now, to balance that trade, that airline will need five to ten years, maybe. But if we're able to give back to two, two flag carriers with the playing field that is leveled, that should be competitive advantage. A lot of things happen so much in a hurry that I'm wondering if the politics of Nigeria won't drag it down. I want a national carrier that will thrive, that will succeed, and that will not have the rancor of Nigeria as a country. If it is possible for us to separate our airline from our politics, like the Ethiopians have done, I'll be very, very happy. Yeah, government needs to be involved in our aviation because you need somebody's shadow to allow other countries. Look, aviation is global politics. You saw the blockade against Qatar that had helped another, other countries' airline rise at the expense of Qatar Airways. So people will do that to you. So we need Nigerian government involved to protect our airline. But the Nigerian airline operators are burdened by multiple taxation, high operating costs, scarcity of jet A1, and can hardly break even. The Nigerian airspace is being ravaged by foreign airlines, and they have a way of preventing African airlines from accessing their own uh, 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 airspace, making it impossible for the airlines in Africa to thrive. It's unfair. So I call on governments in Africa, especially Nigeria,
to understand what is called international aero politics. They should allow us to fly to London. They should allow us to go to Europe. They shouldn't bring up all stereotype kind of reasons to stop African indigenous airlines from thriving. Stakeholders are of the opinion that a national carrier remains Nigeria's ticket to benefiting from the more than 75 bilateral air services agreements to which it is the signatory. But the Association of Nigerian Aviation Professional Secretary General explained this group's suspicion on the project. He wants the government to explain what happened to the proceeds of the sale of Nigeria Airways Limited. This, the remaining staff of former Nigeria Airways are paid their entitlement because it's their sweat. Otherwise, whatever you are aiming at, national career, their spirit, if they don't even do anything, their spirit will work against it. And we, as a union, particularly our own professional union, we will work against it because it's an injustice. Ownership structure is a critical factor in the setting up of a national career. As some stakeholders say, the federal government's use of public funds to float a national career aids a contravention of its earlier promise that the initiative will be private sector driven. There's no way any carrier can come in, whether national carrier of note can come in without government involvement. But the thing is that after government has involved itself in bringing it into being, government will pull out and leave it to the private sector to come in. Some have expressed fear that Nigeria may go wrong again in floating a national country has a plethora of failed airlines. They include ADC Airlines, Okada Air, Bellevue, among others. While some analysts have attributed the failure to owner-manager syndrome, others say it is traceable to lack of maintenance, repair and overhaul facility locally. Nigerians want the government's action to be in the interest of the participants, aviation sector, and the public. They've also called on the government to not only ensure that the proposed national carrier works, but also supports domestic airlines to grow. Lelian Ezemak, TVC News Lagos.